I have all like boxes of like really good shit. Wow. And if I had said, okay, well, what would you charge me for this box? What would you the price be? What's going on guys? Good morning, good morning. Ah, uh, let's see, it is 7.16 in the morning. Uh, it's a Thursday and I'm headed to um, an estate sale. Um, they seem to have some really good stuff in all the different categories of the home from electronics to knickknacks. Um, I think some clothing pieces. So I don't feel like I won't be able to get decent stuff. Um, I did see a whole stack of video games, um, vintage. I think they were um, Super Nintendo um, along with the system or it could have been a PlayStation. I don't remember at this moment, but I'm sure there's gonna be people in the line already that's gonna be waiting for it. Um, there's gonna be there for that. And if I get some, I get some. I'm not worried about it, but there's a couple other things I'd like to get my hands on. And I think there'll be plenty for everybody. So ride with me. You know I'm gonna show it to you. You know I'm gonna have y'all there with me to see everything in the room and the crazy prices. And I'm hoping it isn't crazy prices, but it probably is. Hold on. So I'm gonna be doing some voiceover in, in this video because um, they had some loud music playing in certain parts of the house. So I pretty much I went to this I went to this estate sale and unfortunately my goal was to go after the NES video games in there but I ended up going the wrong direction and I ended up um, in a room instead of go staying in the main part of the house so I missed out on the lot of video games that they had there even though I was probably one of the first ones in the line to go after it. After I looked through the couple of video games that was left, I grabbed about three or four of them. I only bought the Aladdin one because the rest of them was overpriced. So then I went into this little back room that they had with some knickknacks in it, some nice little antiques in there. What you see me doing right there is grabbing a knife because I met this young man in the in the line and he said that he was there to grab, he was there to get knives. Um, so I grabbed it for him and gave it to him later on when I ran into him. They, were, they had some really nice electronics in there, but it just didn't have the resale value, so I passed on it. You see me grabbing some mag lights. They were about $4 each. Um, I grabbed a couple of no, brand, no names as well. You see me looking at some electronics right there. They could have reselled really nicely, but it was priced too high and they weren't there on the half off day when I got back. I eventually went into the next room. $20 for Furby, huh? <laughs> I know, that's creepy. I remember when the first came out, they're like, there's video cameras, Chinese Oh, wow. <laughs> now I say, say TikTok. Now you did TikTok and okay. watching you. I ended up grabbing a folder that had a mix of heavy metal cards and baseball cards in it and a couple of random cards at the end. And then I found a Michael Jordan flare card. I see people, a few people are trying to sell it for $5,000, the graded one, but they're not going for that much. Um, it, they'll never get that price on eBay for it. But I love Michael Jordan, so of course I'm going to keep the cards. I saw 
right. Ma'am? Oh, ma'am? Yes, sorry. Do you have vinyl records in here? I didn't see any vinyl records. Okay. Not at this one. Um, yes, okay. Yeah, no, there weren't any at this house. Right, thank you. They had a ton of stuff. They had a ton of stuff in the in the main room. This person was a serious collector. Everywhere you looked, there was something. I was scanning everything I could. As you can see, there's a ton of marbles right there. There was at least 30 jars of marbles. There was a guy there earlier with a black light scanning them. He did walk away with a jar, so I guess he found what he was looking for. There was a ton of eagles. There was Budweiser signs on the wall. Um, the person there was, they had some interest in taste and um, they had decorative plates but we all know those things don't sell um, here I am finding the guy I was telling you about earlier he you know he was in front of me in the line and we were talking about what we were looking for and I ended up finding a knife so I gave it to him because um, he was interested in knives and um, that was that Because there's a four vintage or five each. So, uh, pardon me. It's a small hallway, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Could you come to the I'm sorry. rich for my blood. It wasn't until I entered um, one particular room, uh, there was his ladies in there checking out some Indian artwork that was worth a lot of money signed by um, the Indian artists. There was a lot of great things in this room. It was definitely a dedicated room to Indian art. And it was the best room for me because I was able to grab a race it, a Mini Cooper racing jacket for $10. I was able to grab a Dolphins um, hat, a sports specialty hat. I actually ended up grabbing two sports, spe sports specialty hats out there. The Seminoles one, I, wasn't, I was on the fence with, so I didn't end up purchasing it. But a reseller friend of mine um, did end up grabbing it later on. He had asked me about it, but I didn't know. I The only thing I knew about the hat was um, that it's a retired team or it's a retired um, logo. So it might be worth something, but I didn't end up buying it for myself. But I really think I got the two best things out of that room. Way too much. Always. Way too much. Always. I don't understand. What is the motivation to keep it or to sell it? No, the motivation Jay, is that they put it too high and oh, you don't oh, buy it. And then after it's over, they get to get it for nothing. Can you see it? That's the motivation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How about the other one? Deb, can you show her that one? Hang on. Deb? Yeah. Can you show her that one? <laughs> can you see? I don't know which way to turn my turn phone. Turn the that phone way. that way. Yeah. Can you see it? There's 150. Yeah, they're 150 each. Yeah, I can get them. Get them. All right. Um, I'm trying to see if there was a. She said she had three of them. Is that her? That's not her. That is her. Okay. No. Well. What? It's a, What'd you say? Don't. Okay. Uh -oh. so you don't Sorry, I'm dropping the stuff. What? Are you done? Oh, I was. I'm done in here. Okay. Can you, do you think I can put this on? I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm just warning you, because I know people have a 
Go to the bed. Thank you. Sorry. This is getting heavy. Whew. Is this the one to maybe? just I, I decided to stay there on the bed sift through the bag see what I have I did end up grabbing about three video games one was worth five dollars it was an Aladdin and um, a couple of them was twenty dollars so I looked it up and um, as I was looking it up um, a fellow reseller that I have been bumping into a, few, a lot now popped in um, and uh, we just we, we basically just started talking for a while and I was standing there and looking through the video games and you know some I definitely would have made my money back on but probably barely made a five dollar profit so I just decided to give to him because he's also he's all he's a collector as well as a seller so if he got to put it in his collection I'm happy for him um, so I stayed there for a little while just looking through the stuff that I had. I was pretty pleased so far with what I was able to pick up. That was my goal was to go in it, but I went the wrong way and somebody got the majority of them. I found some, I thought I got the burger, but apparently not. Mm -mm. I got here an hour and 15 minutes. I was like 10 or 11. And... I usually don't do this. See, it's 29, maybe 29, 29. Mm. I've been doing them a little bit lately, a little bit more. Especially if they're not a Friday or Saturday, then I don't do it. It's like 29 bucks if you can sell it. But if you're a collector, then for about 15. I'm hoping this Mega Man is worth it. I used to love Mega Man. <laughs> what is like? What is this? Is it for thirty dollars? Thirty Yeah, I wish they had the box. Yeah, you're right about thirty so far. Let me see. I always put things as good instead of very good. Do I want this for myself? Oh, you collect. <laughs> I do have a super. I got all of them. Um, a super oh. Nintendo, sixty-four, and a regular Nintendo. I started doing that at one point. I even made a shelf for them, but I was like, you're not even playing this. You haven't played it. You, I know. You I just it. There. <laughs> so I just <laughs> sold it. I just, do I want to pay 20 just so that I can... How did this person end up selling it for $339? You can see that? No way. That has to be something. With, it says, oh, with a case, but so what? With a case? Let's see. So far, I see nothing. Oh, mm -hmm. Wait, seriously? No, there's no way. Oh, okay. Box, okay yeah, I guess. Huh. The box. Crazy how much the box is valued to. Mm -hmm. Um, as you can see, there's a guy in the room right there. I met him at the estate sale for the first time, and he was talking about all the video games. He seems to have a lot of knowledge, and he's a collector. 
and um, you know, he was we exchanged numbers. He was telling me he also had things in his trunk that day. You'll see later on that I do meet up with him after the estate sale, and I see what he has in his trunk. Things gonna feel real. They did a good job if they didn't. So they had the music in the main part of the house playing really loud, but I was in this room and just looking through this little desk. This desk would be so cool. If I owned a home, I would just, I would buy this desk. The idea that with all the little slots, you can put your mail in the different slots. It's pretty cool. And it, you know, back then it was like that solid wood. So it's probably weighs hundreds of pounds. But look at the detail up here. I was just at awe at this box. It was truly beautiful. I was looking at the little trinkets there, trying to open up this box. To this day, I still am not able to open this thing up. I should have just put it down, but I, I scanned it and it was beautiful. You know, um, it, it, it just had a really beautiful design on it. So I, it was eight bucks, so I picked it up. I'm gonna go out, it's okay. Thank you. I think so. Can I have a price on this jacket, please? Um, where did you find it? I don't, but I can take three right now. Uh, there was no pink sign. There was Let nothing. me ask Michelle. I didn't price that room, so I don't want to give you a price that could be wrong. That was our favorite sign, remember? Yeah. Don't yeah. try Is that our bag or your bag? That's my bag. All right, then I'll go ahead and take that bag. Okay. Oh, wait, you got two. All right. That's another eight. All right, got it. This is a single. trinkets 16. and I don't know why I have flashlights in here um, <laughs>
Okay. Oh, wait, you can bring a hurricane. Yeah. I'll take two of them. Yeah. You want? You don't want these? Two? I want those two. Oh, okay. That was it. You spice those. You don't want this one? Right. No, ma'am. Can you have some salt with the price of this jacket in? Jacket. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So you are seventy-nine dollars. Awesome. Guys, this is an incredible sale. Number for 10. This to me is the biggest winner. I'm gonna try really hard to clean this, but at $10, this is a hundred and something dollar hat. Um, this, I, I'm not positive, but I know that this is also vintage right here. So I think I got a lot of nice things. These three things, I got the Michael Jordan card for me. I didn't even look it up. These are eight, but I could sell them at 35. The Zippo pen and an Anna knife. So I think I did good. Even these little baby things here are like $30, $40. So there's a guy here that says he has video game stuff in his car. So I'm about to call him, take the camera with me, and see what kind of deal I can make. Yeah, I did bring some shit. Yeah, Do you mind if I record? I'm only going to point it towards the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping you had the council. I didn't bring all my really expensive. Okay. I have all like boxes of like really good shit. Wow. And if I had said, okay, what would you charge me for this box? What would you the price be? I don't know. That's a hundred dollars by itself. That's the original. Wow. That's crazy. As you guys can see, he does have some really good games in there, and they're and the boxes are pretty much mint. Um, but he wasn't, he wasn't giving me a price. He wasn't, he didn't, just, I didn't get the feeling that number one, I would have gotten a good price from him. And number two, that he was ever going to actually give me an answer. If you say you're wholesale, then that means you have prices in mind. So I, I didn't purchase anything from him that day or any other day. I still have his number if I ever want games and I'm sure I'll see him again. He has my number if he wants to actually sell anything but again no, no transactions have been made yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate everybody that supports me. Um, I have a link below that if you're interested in my t-shirt that says unapologetic thrifter. You can pick up your own shirt, hat, or mug in, in the link below. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one and thank you so much for rocking with me.